So Piccolo was supposed to be doing his job that he's been reduced to at this point in Dragon Ball Z, of being a stepfather, taking care of Pan, which when I think about it, could finally dispel any of the headcanons that he's black. But Piccolo failed his job because the ops caught the poor girl literally just walking home from elementary school. They out here moving like Michael Jackson, straight spawn campers. So Piccolo, needing Gohan's help, disguises as one of the Red Ribbon soldiers to deliver the news and have him come out of retirement. I know that Gee be talking to Gohan every couple months like the Green Goblin mask was to Norman Osborn. And this got me weak because this man Piccolo is really Boy, swearing that he's get... incognito. He thinks we can't see him. But ultimately, his plan works and Gohan tweaks out. Thing is, Gohan's not playing around, so he gives his enemies that taken speech. I will find you. And I will kill you. So we see Dr. Hedo and the Gammas posted outside waiting for Gohan's pull up like 50 people deep. Meanwhile, Goku and Vegeta can't slide with Gohan because they're all fighting each other on Beerus' planet. <laughs> Y'all unks gotta let it go. Gohan peeps Pan and immediately gets on BT, bad time, and literally just booms the airship. Crazy thing is, look at the pilot's face. He's just a regular human. Well, I guess now he's just regular human chunks. Gohan lands in front of the whole army by himself and is just straight mean mugging everyone. I can't lie though, the glasses make this a lot less threatening. But I guess it's better than the alternative. Which one of y'all niggas took my daughter? Gohan peeps Pan and wastes no time, just charges right in. Got Dr. Hedo hitting the Odell Beckham Jr. But as Gohan is charging in, Gamma 2 beats him to the spot and kicks his ass right back down to earth. And we all know Gohan's body. He been having anger issues since he was legit, so he start talking crazy. He was a bitch ass nigga. Taking off the cape. My thing is, who gave bro the N-word pass? Was it Oop? Stop it, can't be. Not with that cut, he not one of us. Maybe it was Mr. Popo? If that's the case, it's valid. He's so black he look purple. You can take him. Pause. What type of gay shit you on right now, bruh? So Gohan is just standing there ready to box and Gamma 1 starts walking up on him, menacingly. But Gohan isn't phased, he's pissed off and locked in. Gamma 1 starts walking, quickly turning into a full sprint as Gohan blocks his first attack. And he's moving like he's in peak form, couldn't even tell bro's fresh off retirement, as he blocks the left, gets his kick block, and lays him out like a mattress. Lizzo was like, ah yes, finally, somewhere to lay down, so Gamma 1, not wanting to suffocate, rises back up, headbutting Gohan, and they begin to hold hands in the rain. Dr. Hedo on the sideline watching the fight, thinking about cupcakes in the back of his mind, and for whatever reason, the holding hands is getting him hype. You're gay! You're He's gay! This nigga celebrating like Dr. Frankenstein in the fact that there's flamboyancy in his android. But going back to the fight, Gohan gets tripped, gets his arm locked and slammed as Gamma 1 starts charging up his shooting strike right towards Gohan. But Gohan been catching ass beating since he was 6 years old, broke out that Mark Grayson durability. Taking the flaming kick head on trying to block it as the impact causes the whole stage to blow up to pieces. Nobody standing around is sure what happened, there's too much smoke and rubble to see anything. So Piccolo assumes the worst and wastes no time started plotting already. I'm finna be your new daddy. No, my dad's gonna win! Yeah, okay. I've been waiting for this moment. Flashback. He did it again, huh? Left you to go train? I wouldn't do you like this and I put that on planet Namek. End of flashback. Gohan manages to get up out the rubble. Stay down. Final warning. We gotta be honest, Gohan came out of retirement and he looking washed. Jake Paul about to challenge him to a boxing match soon. Desperate to beat the washed allegations, Gohan charges back in only to end up going 0 for 12 on all his hits. Bro did so bad, I can't even say he went out there and even put up tour dates. And as if that wasn't bad enough, he gets kneed, chin checked, legs grabbed, and gets tossed. Over here juggling his glasses, bro trying to make sure he see his own ass whooping in 4k. He manages to recover his vision, Helen Keller cannot relate, just to see himself thrown through the ground up into the sky. At this point, I'm just confused as to why Gohan is still in base form. Your child is on the line, put that same pride away. So, where's the rest of the trio? Where's Goku and Vegeta? Man, fuck the big three. It's just big me. Shut your dumb ass up. You're not Kendrick, nigga. Gohan out here talking spicy like he ain't peaked back in 2000. I wasn't even born yet when he was in his prime. Gamma hits him with the left knee, spinning kick back down to the ground, but he sticks the landing. But Gohan has decided enough is enough. I'm tired of eating elbows and kneecaps. As he transforms, going Super Saiyan 1 or 2, you can't really tell the goddamn difference. And somehow the form gave him 20-20 vision, doesn't need the glasses anymore. Gamma 1 still standing there like he heard an Eminem song in 2024, unimpressed. As he gets kicked back to back twice into a right uppercut and a left hook. 
Gohan's PTSD is soon to trigger though from a traumatic event back when he was a little kid cause Gamma steals one of his own moves. Flying in, headbutting Gohan right in the chest, charging the two of them right towards the mountain behind. And we all know the Saiyan's weaknesses, good haircuts, lesbians, and getting dragged through the terrain. As Gohan gets pressed throughout the mountain, getting the back of his head straight shaved off, got bro looking like these. Gohan tells Gamma 1, Blasting bro off of him and loads up a Kamehameha right towards him as he just Mike Jack leans out the way. After almost getting his mohawk shaved off, which Gohan would have been doing you a favor, gang, Gamon decides fuck all this karate shit, shooting Gohan and getting it spiked down, almost booming all the spectators. And for those who don't know, Gamon is actually also a good guy. He's just confused that thinks Gohan is a bad guy, so he's distracted, worried about the soldiers down below. As Gohan knees him and hits a spinning kick, knocking him back down to the ground and starts sprinting back in. And this is why people be clowning DBZ as a show that's just punch, kick, kick. Because where's the strategy? Where's the tactics? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results is the definition of slowness. Getting rocked with a right as they both start charging back into one another and start holding hands again. Gohan's fighting for his life down here and there's two very different expressions going on in the stands. Let's go, dad! I'm about to jump in there. Videl, you will be mine. Piccolo really loved to just stand there in the background staring at his mans getting pieced up, huh? That day on Namek was when Gohan realized Piccolo ain't like that. You a fraud! Oh, 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 I'm a fraud! You scared too! I'm eight! Gohan kicks Gamma 1 and they back up from one another. But I don't know what happened after that kick because Gamma starts to lock in. Gohan done beat the tryhard into him. Catches Gohan's right hook, throwing him, blocking the kick, pushing him away, and then hits the Black Widow, wrapping his legs around him and slamming Gohan to the ground. Quickly, I gotta shout out my second channel. If y'all could go show some love, I'll really appreciate that. Y'all already been showing so much love. Just posted the Miles Morales and Peter Parker fight where they're beefing over who gets to clap MJ. That mission was fire. Go support. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Moving on with the video. Uh, I think we ain't done yet. You, but you personally. I think we ain't done yet. Dodging <laughs> Gohan's kick into a knee backbreaker, karate chop, stomach kick, palming bro's face like a basketball. You know what they say, like father like son, and it's clearly true. I can't wait for my Danny Phantom going ghost powers to kick in. Gamma 1 hits him with a clothesline, spinning bro around and throwing him into rubble. It's not looking good for a Gohan. He pulled up looking to save the day and now he's out here hitting the will you marry me instead. So Piccolo and Pan come up with a plan staging her being choked to piss Gohan off. Which we all know is a foolproof plan. Frieza signed his death wish the day he killed Krillin. You don't ever touch a man's cheerleader like that. And it works. Gohan begins to start raging like he'd been playing some Black Ops 2, transforming into Ultimate Gohan, which looks the exact fucking same as regular Gohan to me. I remember everybody in the theater was cheering and I'm just looking like... Gohan starts charging in and his punch gets caught, hitting him with a right left kick. As Gamma 1 is tumbling backwards from that barrage of attacks, Gohan from behind bops him into the ground to eat straight chunks of concrete. And y'all already know how Ultimate Gohan be getting way too cocky sometimes, straight tortoise and the hair whenever he's in that form. Cause Gamma 1 is raging and Gohan turns his back on bro to leave the fight. Ultimate Gohan be treating his opponents like stepchildren. But Gamma 1 cuts off his path, refusing to be disrespected in such a manner. I'm not sorry like Yamcha, I was built specifically to beat you. Trash, the weakest air droid I've ever had to fight against. Now that right there lets you know for a fact that Gohan ain't ever have to fight Android 19. They really tried to make us intimidated by bro by having him kill Yamcha, like. Ugh, wow. Respect on my name. Shooting his gun at Gohan, getting that shit smacked away, booming the whole terrain. Dr. Hedo is starting to come to the realization that his creation was gonna be turned into scraps, so he does the only option he has left. Ayo, jump his ass! As Gamma 2 begins sprinting in quick, Android 19 and 20, Android 17 and 18, now these two, I guess they all got that built in We Ain't Running Ones badge equipped from birth. Gamma 2 gets hit and turns around to see Piccolo standing behind him, straight mean mugging. I'm sitting there thinking, it's dope you trying to help bro, but if Gohan's struggling, what is there that you're really about to do? And Piccolo must have heard me, busting out his shirt, showing off his new transformation. I remember when this first drop, niggas thought it was just different lighting. Bro basically the same, he ain't do nothing but step back. 
Gohan can't believe it, but has to lock in. He's already busy. Dodging we, Gamma we. 1, and they continue to box. So that forces Piccolo into an ISO, but he's 7'5 and dark skin. This is nothing new for him. This is my potential unleashed form. Niggas be 45 talking about my potential got unleashed. Gamma 2, now in the track and field starting position, goes in to get his punch caught and then kneed and then launched into the terrain. It's been a minute since I've seen Piccolo step in and just get straight to action like this. Bro been straight Mary Poppins for too long. I know he been feeling like a crackhead to fight for a while now. Hey yo, I got next. Gohan blocks, hits Gamma 1, and Lil bros him into a headlock. And this is so OD because in the middle of having this man in the RKO, he starts conversating with Piccolo, slamming him on his head. Nah, Gohan really violated. Gamma 1 got up looking like these, and it doesn't stop. As Gohan kicks him up, uppercut into a spinning back kick, sending him away. Gamma 1 said, I eat those, charging back in, getting his attack blocked. They begin talking to each other, and the cameraman pans away because he knows this is Dragon Ball post Boo arc. Nobody here for the plot anymore. Piccolo and Gamma 2 are going blow for blow until Piccolo goes flying through a wall. And I don't know where the hell he learned this from, Robin linking with Toph Beifong or something, because he starts earthbending the rubble. But hey, since DBZ characters are getting out of universe powers, we should give Krillin the great Toad Sage from Naruto's ability to tell the future, so he could at least now know and see his ass beatings are coming, and throws it at Gamma 2, who with the blicky blows it up dodging all the debris in the process, looking like Neo in this hole from the Matrix. And then he goes to Old Reliable, the move he been using since 87. Special beam cannon, loading it up, firing it off right at Gamma 2. But ultimately, it do not matter, because Dr. Hedo already knew this from the scouting report on Piccolo and created a counter, which is this bubble, dispersing the special beam cannon in mad different directions. So if Dr. Hedo had the scouting report for Piccolo, y'all think he had one for everyone else too? Like what did Yamcha say? Be careful to catch TND from him, trash nigga disease? Gamma 2 comes through, kicking Piccolo right in the stomach, but Piccolo grabs him and then kicks him, making that boy hit a fadeaway. Okay, my turn. Flying to Piccolo to then knee him, getting a two-piece off until Piccolo reverses it, kneeing him, and starts flying down. And I'm thinking maybe this is strategical for Piccolo, because he's been doing a really good job so far. He gotta have something up his sleeve. Yo, chill gang, let me get a five. Is this nigga serious? Bro, his flight reacts. Only person I ever seen doing half times in a one on one pickup. Gamma 2 hits him with a right left uppercut and then grabs Piccolo's legs to start spinning him around. And after he's built up enough momentum, got Piccolo on the brink of throwing up all over himself, he tosses Piccolo into the sky and then volleyball spikes him back down. That hit was so intense, Piccolo's entire large intestines, bladder, liver, all that scrambled up like some eggs. So he's free falling down and it's really looking like it might be over for Unk. Piccolo being a top tier fighter is off pure reputation at this point. Bro's the DBZ Ice Cube, the gangster that makes family movies. But Shenron decides to bless Piccolo with some more power, unlocking his god key as he's falling down. Dr. Hedo seeing another transformation just like, It's a roll, bro! No way, bro! As a giant explosion happens, sending fire everywhere, and there he is. Orange Piccolo is revealed to us, looking straight, menacing, ready to call GG. But I'm not gonna lie, this shit is mad anticlimactic, bro, because Gamma 2 peeps him and charges in, unleashing straight haymakers that are having absolutely zero effect on Piccolo whatsoever. Eventually, after him just being there spamming the same left right over and over again, he lands one last right, looks up at Piccolo, and realizes that he's absolutely cooked. That is, unless Krillin comes through to save the day again because he's trying to fuck this android too. As Piccolo cocks his hand back mad far, unleashing an insane right got him glitching. So it's looking like raps for the Red Ribbon Army, but Magenta knows that they have Cell Max stored away, so he dips out on Dr. Hedo to go activate him. And I'ma just be honest with y'all, the Cell the Max fight is kinda now? cheeks, I don't wanna cover it. Bro is just giant while everyone's flying around shooting random attacks at him, no type of boxing really. But the very ending is cool, so we could do it real quick. So Piccolo had went giant to face off against Cell Max and gets his shit twerked, appearing to be dead, which of course pisses Gohan off to the absolute max. If I was facing a Saiyan, I'm playing cute puppy videos, telling them funny jokes, making sure none of sexy red music is being played nearby, I'm not trying to piss them off. We see Gohan and it's like he got his shutting gun unlocked with those red eyes and blue aura that literally engulfs everyone around him. And you already know. 
the cameraman gotta do his job to make sure and get the angles right. As we see Gohan, or maybe I shouldn't just call him Gohan anymore. This is Gohan Beast, and it looks so fire, bro. Each transformation for the Saiyans be like putting on a new pair of shoes. The fit pick is absolutely mandatory. So you already know, Gohan just stands there for a second, posing. And here we go. As he charges in with the right, hitting Gohan, that had so much force behind it, the literal wind from the attack is destroying the terrain. But all of that was for nothing, because Gohan hits him with the light work, no reaction. Casually moving bro's hand and kicking him in the gut with such force, he goes flying back, which creates a giant dust storm that Gohan can't see through. But the smoke is eventually all cleared up because this man's Sun Max created a giant sphere attack so big it's protruding out of the goddamn planet. Now with this rod wave sized orb above him, naturally you'd think this would bring nothing but fear in the heart of Gohan. But even with Cell Max standing there holding that over his head, Gohan's just cheesing. And I don't know how, but Piccolo clearly had no pupils a second ago. Had us all convinced he was on King Kai's planet with Chaozu lying to Lil Bro telling him they finna wish him back soon. He's alive somehow, and wraps Cell Max up with his long ass Victor Wemanyama arms to hold him in place for Gohan. And this is just poetry, because Piccolo was on one side of the tag team attack with Goku, and now with Goku's son, he's on the opposite side. As Gohan starts charging up the special beam cannon, he's able to charge it up all the way, firing it off towards Cell Max. Cell Max knows there's nothing he could do to move out the way, so he decides to try and take Gohan out with him, throwing his attack at the special beam cannon as they meet in the middle to create some insane colors and effects. Got me feeling like RDJ pre-Iron Man. Every anime like this should have an epilepsy warning before it, should be having me in the theater tweaking. But ultimately Cell Max's attempt failed because Gohan's beam still pushes through striking him in the cranium and that's GG's. This is for telling, telling the news reporter that one time that I'm your sidekick pussy. I ain't your sidekick nigga. Fuck you!